All right, welcome back. Um, put a big pause on this project. This is the one six scale F eighteen uh, that I'm building. Uh, I fixed most of the problems that I had with it from prior videos, and I'd kind of done a, a video uh, on this canopy unlock and lock system that they had. I like it, but it doesn't work with the way they do it, and they just kind of, I don't know, they fudge it a little bit to make it work, and it'll work with the stock setup with air cylinders, uh, because a lot of times they'll set up their air cylinders to where the travel doesn't go the full travel of the of the of the air cylinder you know like this guy this is the actual uh, air cylinder that opens and closes the canopy and with the full closed it would only go that far and you'd still have that much you know travel that it could go but because the canopy was fully closed you know it just sits there and, and the pressure is holding it closed yeah you'd like to you'd like to have your air cylinders go their full travel so they you know they go to the stop at one end and then they go back in and they're stopped at their just mechanical stops. But a lot of times Skymaster will have things put in where they where they're basically instead of hitting the stop, they're being stopped by the door being all the way closed or the canopy being all the way closed. Uh, so that being said, the way they did this, you could you could make their system work because of that. Because the problem you run into is the lock okay you got this link in here you got two arms one's connected to the to the open uh, cylinder this one's this one's connected to your unlock and well, well this portion is connected to your unlock and this, this portion is connected to your lock or open and close so I'll show you here you got the open and close linear actuator that I put on it I converted all my I took out the air and I'm converting to these Actronics linear actuators that I sell and then here's another one so this is a 30 millimeter and a 50 millimeter so this one essentially just opens unlocks the back end of the canopy so it lifts this it's on you can kind of see it there there's actually a, a tilt that this is connected to so it'll actually lift how can I show you here let me get the remote it will actually lift the back portion of the canopy up and out and it's not focusing so that's kind of a horrible quality so let me see if I can get some focus here. So it lifts it up. So that's unlocked. And then of course, locked. All right. So the reason why they did that, well, when the canopy's like this, you you can't open and close it. Even if they didn't have the pins on the front end that go into the forward frame, like say it has some type of other arm that would lock it like your traditional things because of this stuff it all hits so what they did and I don't know if this is kind of trying to be scale they added one air cylinder to simply do that which pulls the canopy back and allows that pin to come out of the forward lock so that's what holds your canopy down and you can see it's very small which when you actually close it all the way I mean it's like a millimeter or two in there so that's probably why a couple people had these come open and I didn't want to do that so I wanted to get this thing right so I could add a longer pin. So I'm actually going to have about a quarter of an inch or more of a pin length to get into here and grab so it won't come open due to flexing and vibration. So with that said, the next air cylinder simply opens the canopy and that amped out. Yeah, see, that's not, for some reason, that's not going all the way up. It's still working it, but you get the point. So, the problem you have is with this canopy, uh, like this, the stock setup, there was, there's no slop in here. So when this canopy, the back portion of it opens and locks and unlocks, it moves it so it's pulling on this and if there's no give in this air cylinder which there was so that's how their system would work it would essentially pull it to allow a little bit of slop in there for that canopy to move without messing with this but well since I converted it to electric actuators I can't there's no slop 
and it would bind and amp out things. So what I ended up doing is created slop. So I took the inner race the little ball, the little metal ball inside the rod end and popped them out and put like a little uh, brass or aluminum tube right over the, the, the bolt that runs through there so it kind of has like a wheel so it's not just rubbing right on uh, the threads of the bolt so but there's slop in here and you can kind of see it you know you can still move the canopy so that that slop allows this aft portion to lock and unlock without pulling on that air cylinder and that's how I accomplished it and and you see then it locks in place unlock and then canopy open which for some reason it's not going all the way it's amping out which is not good That's, oh I see what it is this is moved over okay I don't have the spacers in there so let me let me do this let me do this show you guys here there's little spacers in there and I don't have them in so the bottom I'm going to set the remote down for a second bear with me Bear with me. Alright, so there we go. Alright, so now it should open properly. So that's fully closed. Air back ends unlocked. Goes to open. Full open position. Arms straight out. Now granted there's still some slop in there when you lift up. But that's fine. I mean, that's when it's open, you're on the ground, either taxiing in or, or just on display. So, but, so close. All right, and then lock. Boom, there you go. So, you got to have two air cylinders or two linear actuators, two servos. So, you've also got to have two air cylinders if you're going to use the stock setup. Two air, or not air cylinders, two two way valves and a sequencer. Or work it in your radio somehow. So, with the linear actuator, I can take one three position switch. And so, this is, say, this is, I just got done flying. All right, canopy is down, so you go mid switch, that unlocks it, down opens the canopy. Mid switch closes, locks. So I can do it in the radio versus having the crazy sequencers. And I can adjust the endpoints and travel of the linear actuators in my radio doing, you know, in endpoints and things like that. Saves a lot of money because I'm not, I mean, depending on what two-way air valves you use. I mean if you use Jetronics, which most people do, I mean you're talking gosh 130 bucks for one two-way air valve and my linear actuators are like $70. Uh, plus you don't have to worry about air. You don't have to have a fill port for the canopy air system. You don't have to have a pressure gauge if you want one of those. You don't have to have extra air tanks, fittings. It, needless to say it's simpler. It's less less equipment and with this particular system if you want to use the stock system I suggest doing this or making sure you get get it working and well enough to get longer pins because the stock pin in the front here that's, that goes into the front frame has no nothing but some uh, some real thin material here to, to bite into and it only has like maybe three millimeters of metal into the to the front frame here and that's just going to wall her out and come open in flight which is what's already happened so I'm going for roughly almost a half inch rod with, with the way my setup is and the gap that I can get it's allowed me to go from you know a three four millimeter piece of metal sticking out to about a half inch which I don't know what that is in millimeters so I'm getting further travel back and then can open versus the small amount they had and I'm not binding up and overriding pulling on air cylinders that aren't fully closed and fully opened. Um, so I hope that makes sense. 
Um, it is an ideal. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I ponder around. I've seen people that have modded it. Some people just do away with this and put like one, you know, one uh, actuator or one air cylinder that opens and closes it and then come up with some type of other lock system. I kind of like this. It's neat. So I wanted to keep it as long as I could make it work. Uh, and this is my, my uh, solution for that. So um, that's about it. Uh, still on hold. Been trying to get to Germany. So that's why I haven't really been doing anything. It's hard to get motivated when you know you're going to leave and stuff like that. So, but since I've been here, you know, a couple weeks longer than I thought, got bored, came out, wanted to get this done. Uh, that way I can, you know, get a stopping point and on a project and just in case I do leave so but if I don't you know there's still you know who knows I may not go um, if I don't I'll get back to the build I gotta order some servos and start ordering some things to put in it um, but uh, anyways I'll shut up if anybody has a better way of doing this please let me know that'd be great and what I've been trying to find is actual pictures of how Skymaster does theirs because I don't know this arm can be turned around and I think I have it the right direction but people have reported that the arm was backwards and they couldn't get the canopy to work so I played around with it and this is the only the arm with this direction is the only way I could get it to work and I'm pretty sure that is is the correct way but if anybody knows for a fact you know kinda like the L that arm goes down and longer arm goes down further that the servo connects to or the air cylinder so it kind of looks like like that you know if that makes sense so it's kind of and you can reverse it where it's like that so um, I think I'm right but if anybody sees anything different let me know uh, I'll shut up now long video you guys have a happy Easter